guys, it's Dana with Engadget and I'm here with the MSI S30. Now, based on the name alone, you might think this was the successor to the MSI Slider S20, which we saw late last year, which was a high-end Ultrabook. This is not a high-end Ultrabook. In fact, it's not an Ultrabook at all. This is about a millimeter too thick to be an Ultrabook, and it is, in fact, just a budget Windows 8 laptop that is very soon going to be available in Europe, starting at 699 euro. So what we have here is the most basic of basic laptops. There's a reason this is filed under the budget category. Um, as you can see here, this actually, it's, it's sort of a plasticky construction. It actually has bits of magnesium alloy. Um, the build quality is still about what you'd expect for uh, a laptop that price. Other specs are what you would expect, but also what you wouldn't expect, perhaps. Um, this is a 13.3 inch display with, naturally, 1366 by 768 resolution. You're really not going to expect anything more than that at this price. What's surprising, given that this is a Windows 8 laptop, is that it's not a touch screen. Um, we do have some outtakes of me sort of dumbly poking at the screen here, which if you've used Windows 8 before, you might just naturally start to want to touch every screen you come into, into contact with. This is not a touch screen, so for any touch input, you're going to have to either buy an external touchpad, um, Logitech makes one like that, or you're going to have to use the trackpad here, which allows you to make all the typical Windows 8 gestures. Um, like exposing the charms bar by swiping in from the right over there. And as you can see, it's fairly responsive, so you at least have that, but it would have been nice for it to be a touch screen. Um, it's LCD, no fancy technology like IPS or anything like that, so the viewing angles are going to be pretty weak and pretty narrow. You're going to see the color balance wash out a bit as you dip it forward and back, so you're really going to have to fiddle with the angle before you start working or before you settle in to watch Netflix. The good news is that because it's a little bit thick um, to be considered an Ultrabook, it's 24 millimeters thick, excuse me, 23 millimeters thick, um, there's room for a slightly thicker keyboard, meaning the keys have a little bit more travel than perhaps you're used to on um, another kind of thin and light machine. Taking a tour around the ports here, and I want to just give you a heads up that this is not a final unit. Um, so if you see this gaping hole in the back, uh, just never mind the gaping hole in the back. Um, that's obviously not going to ship that way. But in terms of the ports here, um, it has room for separate audio jacks, so for headphone and mic. Two USB ports here, only one of which appears to be USB 3. Obviously that is where the AC adapter plugs in. Nothing here on the front except for a bunch of your usual LED lights, showing things like battery life, whether it's plugged in, etc. Around here, now this is one benefit of having a slightly thicker machine, you have room for a VGA port, if that's your thing. You have room for an Ethernet jack, which might be more useful to you, as well as a full-sized HDMI port and a memory card reader tucked into the side down there. And obviously, there should be a battery here, and there's not. Um, uh, but you will be able to remove that, apparently. And then you'll just find all your usual vents and whatnot. In terms of the processors that uh, will be creating all of that fan noise, it starts with a Core i3 processor, but you can also get a Core i5 processor if you so choose. It has 4 gigs of RAM, and you'll have different hard drive options, with the max hard drive option not being a full-grade SSD. Remember that this is not an Ultrabook or a high-end machine. But at its best, you can pair, say, a 500 gig hard drive with um, a, a small SSD for caching, so for faster boot ups and faster la application launch times and things like that. So again, it's coming to Europe this month for a starting price, we're told, of 699 euros. So look out for it. Thanks a lot.